This is why meal plans don't work for fat loss and what you should do instead. Hope you like the sunburn. Let's look at it like this. If you're driving to a place you've never been to before, you probably need a sat nav to get you there. As you're driving along, you don't know why you're making left turns here and right turns there, but you do so with confidence that the sat nav will take you to your destination. This is similar to being confused about how to lose fat and not knowing how to get there. Like the sat nav, if someone comes along and tells you exactly what to eat and when to eat it, you can understand how this sounds appealing. No thought required, no learning needed. All you need to do is simply follow the meal plan. Just a small or large fee to a personal trainer or nutritionist. Using a sat nav is much easier than stopping and consulting a map. And using a meal plan appears much easier than learning about the food you eat. Who has time for that? In theory, this sounds pretty straightforward. You've invested in a professional to effectively run your diet for you to produce the result you want which is fat loss. All you need to do is simply eat the foods at the times that they say you should eat them. But the thing is, whilst a sat nav will get you to your destination, you have no idea how you got there and you probably have no idea how to navigate from there. If you take away the sat nav completely, you have no idea what direction to travel in, which means that unless you're a maniac, you'll consult a map. Why am I still going on about sat navs? Well, it turns out they're very similar to meal plans. While sticking to a regimented meal plan for a period of time might give you the results you want, you have no idea why you got those results. And if you ever deviate from the meal plan, you'll have no idea what to eat to support your goals. This leads me to the first major problem. What happens if you don't like eating poached chicken on Mondays or salmon every single Tuesday lunchtime or rice cakes every day at 3 p.m.? What happens if you don't like apples and apples are on the meal plan? According to the rules of the meal plan, if you deviate from it, you've failed. This seems a little bit like food prison to me. You're paying somebody to tell you that you must eat specific foods at specific times of the day to lose fat. But this isn't true because there's thousands of different combinations of foods you can eat at any time that's convenient to you that can still support your goals as long as you're in a calorie deficit. Individual foods and meal timings don't determine fat loss. The total calories in versus calories out over time does. The second issue is this. Let's say you make it through this 30 day or 90 day meal plan and you get the results you wanted. You're delighted. You might say, Graham, you're completely wrong here. And you know what? If you enjoyed it, I'm happy to admit that in your specific case, I'm wrong. But for the majority of people, not so fast. What happens after the meal plan is finished? The three options are as follows. One, continue eating the same meal plan forever, eating poached chicken every Monday and rice cakes every day until your mouth turns to sand. Two, return to your old eating habits you had before the meal plan and which created the problems that you were trying to resolve. Three, pay for a brand new meal plan that tells you to eat poached chicken on Thursdays instead of Mondays. These aren't great options. But what if there was a fourth option? Make your own rules instead. Stop trying to be perfect when trying to lose fat. You don't need to be. Start preparing your own meals. Make them quick, easy and convenient. Begin to understand portion sizes relative to your goals and apply them to your meals. Make sure that your fridge, freezer and cupboards are always stocked with ingredients you enjoy. And if you like being organised, you can make your own meal plan. But realise that you can change it at any time you please because you're the one in charge. Stop paying people large sums of money to give you the same meal plan that they give all their clients. Or worse, their own personal meal plan. You see, following strict meal plans teaches you nothing about the food you eat and how it relates to your goals. And it doesn't really make sense for somebody else to decide what you eat when they don't really know that much about you. It's kind of like putting square pegs into round holes. Generally, I think we just need to stop believing that someone, something or money will achieve our goals for us. You'll be far more effective if you take control yourself and build habits and behaviours that you enjoy and can sustain with flexibility, self-care and knowledge. Meal plans are regimented, but to lose fat, you don't have to be this strict with specific foods eaten at specific times, day in, day out. Your diet isn't a sat nav. It's actually more like an old school map. You just need to look at the details a little more closely and take charge of things yourself. That way you can enjoy your diet and it can be effective long term. Until next time.